Hi Floss Tube, it's Helen D. I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. I'm here with a little um, kind of a flush, flush tube extra. And first off, this is not the ideal day to film. <laughs> we are having a big old windstorm. Um, I'm sure you'll hear it. If you hear any thumping, it's our front door, which we have to tie shut during a windstorm because it doesn't latch right like the outside door. Um, <clears throat> we tie it shut with a pair of scissors hanging off. So if we always have to like cut and run, it's available in case you're worried about us. Um, and I had to have this window open so you have any light at all. <laughs> but this is when I had time to film. It is Friday, um, April 12th. It probably won't post until Tuesday. I just, I like to post on my regular day because I kind of know that's when people look for a video from certain, right? Like I have people I watch and they come out on a certain day. So that's when I look for them. Although I do have a little tiny kind of bonus extra that I'm probably going to post this is coming Tuesday, Friday, your Friday. <laughs> um, so today is an audit. Um, I was working yesterday on going through my stuff and pulling out things that I really wanted to start um, in the summer to kind of figure out what I wanted to work on for summer pieces, make sure I had what I needed. Um, I'm going to the retreat next week if I needed to pick up anything there, you know, that kind of stuff. And my list was getting long. And I know I talked to you last time about trying to work some whips down and here I was adding more things too. And then last night I'm fixing dinner and I was watching the live stream from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery because they do a yearly mystery stitch along. I am a sucker for Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery stitch alongs uh, and they got me. So this year's is Arctic Animals. Oh, here comes Emmy. She does not like the wind. Yeah, she doesn't like the wind. Um, so that one's gonna end up on the list too. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, my list is getting too big. And then at the end of last year, typically I don't kit things up. Hey, the people would love to see you. That's all they get. She hates being picked up, or I would, but she hates it. Um, I ended up having like 13 or 14 things kitted up at the end of last year, which I did a video showing those. And I have gotten to some of them, I finished some of them, but some of them I just knew I'm not gonna get to this year. I'm not gonna get to them right off. And they were causing me anxiety. <laughs> so I decided I needed to have an audit, a whip and kit audit. And it had to be an honest audit. So this is my honest audit. I have decided, I went through all my things, I am UFOing, meaning they will be unfinished, I'm done with them, two things. Two things I'm putting, I'm putting on hold. I would like to get back to them, but I know it's gonna be no time soon, so I'm packing them up and they will be kind of on hold. I probably will not count them in my whips. And then I'm unkidding, I don't know, two, three things. They're in this stack. So, and then there's also a couple things that I looked at and took an honest look at and I was like, I may adjust how I stitch them. So we'll talk about those. So that's what we have is I have a little stack of things to go through um, for my honest audit. So we will start with the UFOs. And like I said, it's two things. I decided to UFO these because sometimes something is not calling to you for a certain reason. One of these, I think the fabric is just too big. Um, I would want to do it on something smaller. And then the other one, taste change. And not so much taste as we learn things about each other, about each other too, but about ourselves as we stitch over time, whether you've been stitching six months or 60 years. And what I've learned about myself, I don't really do well with repetitive things like biscornus and mandalas because it's too repetitive and I get bored. Mono, giant monochromatic pieces, I would have a hard time with. Um, I think that's why I'm so drawn to Satsuma Street, Emma Congdon. I, I don't care if I'm changing floss every 10 stitches. To me, that's what I enjoy. So the first one that I am UFOing, and I'm sad about it, but I just am not called to stitch it is the Lobster Biscornu from M. Kessa Creations, which I call the Dead Lobster Biscornu because they're red. And this is what I had done 
but I still have a lot left to do plus the bottom so as much as I want this one and it's cute I'm just not doing it and it, if it wasn't bringing me joy I'm a recondoed my stuff so that was that's number one number two is one that I think the fabric is just too big because I was going to stitch this is not available it was it was a kit that then I got on a freebie table and it's Harvest Hexies from Hands On Design. And I'm not a quilter and I don't English paper piece, but Buckeye Stitcher did this in one long row to have it made into a drum and I thought that's a great idea. But I picked a 14 count because that's what I had for fabric. And it's just, it would be really, it would be really big. So I think if I were to do this I would have to choose a smaller fabric. So this one, I'm just gonna cut and run. I won't pick this out. This is one of the second pieces. If I ever wanted to just pick this out, I could maybe finish that as a little small something. So that's UFO, unfinished object number two. Then the tablings. So I have two things I'm tabling. Um, one of them, this first one is a, what were you, what were you thinking? Did you really give this some thought? <laughs> I just started this this year in January. I was all excited about it. I still love it. Um, oh, I don't know if I have the design. Uh, it's this piece, Christmas in the Mountains. I'll have to link it below because I can't pronounce it and I don't know the shop name. So it's a whole series, there's four of them, about all four of them. Um, the dark blue is the fabric, the rest is full coverage. I love it, I love the look. This is all I have. Hold on, it's a mess. That's my start. And the reason I'm just tabling this one, I would eventually like to stitch this. However, again, one thing I found out about me, when I have larger pieces that are going to take a long time, I want to be able to touch them more frequently so that they don't take quite as long. <laughs> so if I take this one and the next one out, that will leave me with three large pieces left. The Satsuma Street Sal from last year, two years ago. Two years ago? The Four Element Sal from Satsuma Street, um, which is hollow from Autumn Lane and Snow Queen. So if I take these and just table them, I'm gonna just put them away. I had bought this one its own full set of DMC. I'll leave everything in there, put it away. When I finish those three big ones, I might pull some of these back out or I'll reevaluate re at that time. Which brings me to number two. And from my hesitation, you could probably guess what it is. Live on little. I love this. I'm not drawn to it. I just don't know why. So again, I'm not getting rid of it, but I'm tabling it for now. I haven't touched it in ages. That's, I'm only that far. So tabled. Again, this one had its own set of floss. I'm gonna slide it in the drawer on the shelf when I finish some of the other large ones, maybe this will call to me and I'll bust it out. That's happened before too. I didn't touch cardinal points for like a year and then worked on it steady until it was done. It's a good thing I had an, uh, water for Emmy and my own clothes water because she made an appearance today because wind. So live on little. And kids playing in the rain. <laughs> um, Unkitted. I have three things that I decided want this one. I just know I'm not going to get to this season and it has a lot of fancy floss in it that I don't want tied up in this bag. That's part of the reason why I don't generally kit things ahead of time because then I can't find what I want. One of these, when I went to look at it, I'm like, oh, there's the licorice red I couldn't find that I had to order a new one, even though I swear I looked everywhere for it because I'm not the best at writing things down. Just gonna be honest about that. Um, this is a market release. It's Pollinator's Garden and the Queen Bee from 
October House Fiber Arts. I still really want to stitch this. It's just probably not going to happen this year. Maybe I can pull it out for next spring, but I don't want all this, I don't want all this just sitting there waiting. So this is Pollinator's Garden. And it's this long skinny and the queen bee. And I didn't pull out a picture, but Robin from October House on her Instagram page shows them stitched together with the queen bee in the middle, half the flowers on top, half the flowers on bottom. And that's what I want to do. Um, just it's not going to happen right now. I'm being honest with myself. It's not going to happen right now. So that one, I may, I had subbed some flosses, so I will make a list of what I had pulled and then put those back. Okay. Next up in the unkidding, the last of the unkidding, I guess there were only two. I guess there were only two. Um, this is one that I just know I'm not gonna get to. Santa stops here. It's pretty. The house is daunting, but it's got bricks, so I think it would be doable. Um, I'm just not going to get to it, and I know that. Um, this one, this is where my licorice red was. I think I got it its own set of DMC. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I got all these to put away. Uh, who wants to come put floss away for me? I already had a big container going. <laughs> This is gonna make it have to be done. It's the worst. So that's unkitted. And then the two things I pulled that I'm going to reevaluate are whips. No, one's a whip and one will be a new start. This is not the right thing. I'm like, this is way too heavy. Uh, I obviously grab, I have two bags that look the same. So I've been working on, I didn't have a picture of it anyway. Um, Barbara Anna, what'd she call it? Magic, for, Forest of Magic. It's a tear. <laughs> and all the stands have little like mushrooms and forest animals and it's adorable. Um, I'm still working on that one. It is right now, it is charted to be four tiers. Um, I may make mine three tiers instead. So where I'm at, and I'll try and pull up I'll try and pull up a picture while I chat. <laughs> um, I had started on one side and then done two of the tiers on one side. Uh, luckily for me, not the bottom one. <laughs> so when the time comes, I can make that decision. So I'm going to scoot over to the other side and do the matching two tiers and then the top and then I will decide, am I leaving it as is, or am I gonna do the whole thing? All right, this is the whole thing. I have this area and this area done. Oh, it's five tiers, that's even worse. So I'm gonna ignore this for now. Scoot over here and work up and down, and then decide, do I wanna do the bottom or do I cut it and just do a shorter one. So that would be game time decision. Um, and then the other piece that, again, I really would like to do, but I think I'm going to modify, is Winter Woods from Set Sigma Street. This was the stitch along last year, which is why I think the other one might be from the year before. She might have done two last year and just suckered me in with both of them. So this was a stitch along last year and I didn't, do it as a stitch along. I bought it after when it was a full thing. Um, I love this. It's very big. <laughs> so, and the Frosted Pumpkin one is Arctic Animals, and I would have them both out at winter time. So, what I think I'm going to do, this one is cool because you could stitch them separately. You don't need to stitch them all together. So, I think what I'm going to do is stitch one separately, and I had a white frame in my closet. Um, that will fit one section fine. And the other cool thing, they're set up so you can mix and match. Like all the animal blocks are the same size. This is a long strip, 
it's the exact same size as these strips, right? And this strip is the same as this strip. So I can mix and match. So these mushrooms are my absolute favorite. So they're in, which means I need to use a block with the tall on the top. So then I can pick an animal. I may do the polar bear. And then what I want to do in here, and it may be these things. So I can make it my own. And then I think I will make some of the animals um, as separate ornaments. They will have a border on them, which means I'll need to be more precise in my finishing. But the other thing that's good about this one that I hadn't started, at the time when I was kidding, I couldn't really find a fabric that was gonna work super great. So I had pulled this one, which is not gonna to show today. It's Lugana. Since then, market happened and um, Fiber on Whim released Sapphire, which was for, I bought a fat quarter for um, the new tree from Liz Matthews, but I'm only gonna need half, half of this. So I think it'll work. Look, all my colors are on my handy dandy index card. Um, I think, I think they would all work. A couple of the dark blues aren't super great, but they're supposed to kind of blend in. So that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on that. And that's what I came up with. <laughs> so that would cut off one, two, three, four things from my whip list, which would just, that's four steps down for my anxiety and take a couple things out of the kitted. Because the kitted, every time I open my cabinet, they're just like, hey, we're just hanging out. Why are you starting new stuff you got to market when we're here? <laughs> so then they can live in my filing cabinet and not mock me as much. <laughs> um, that's it. I just thought I'd give you guys an update because there was kind of a lot and I didn't want to tuck it into another video I thought I'd just do it separate so I'm sure everyone has done the same right and I'm sure what what have your taste changed on and something that you're like oh I'm gonna love this and then you get going on it and you're like mm, maybe not as much as I thought I would so I know I'm not alone in that which is perfectly fine it's just nice to do a healthy honest audit so maybe that's my challenge to you do a healthy audit on it, audit on your whip list and see what you come up with. All right, I'll see you guys with a regular update um, next week. Bye.